Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 42 semi-final between Mega Bonobo and his undead and Andy Devo and his dwarves. In the booth with me is Faimir, hello. Hello everybody, here we are again which looks very difficult for the undead here because the dwarf team is amazing. Well, I like this though, he's used the grab to set up a giant gang foul on turn one. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, that was good to use for grab there. And Mega Bonobo has to and I need to use every single thing at his disposal because it's a very rough match here. Yeah. But he didn't make it three dice and he didn't get as many assists as he could have done. But never mind, yeah. <laughs> and he is blocking without blood. <laughs> but hey, um, <laughs> yeah, his, his team is a bit rubbish. Like, it's not terrible. Um, but you can see he's down TV, he's got uh, a wizard, a bribe, um, and a babe, and um, he's got 14 players. And like, as undead goes, it's quite a nice, decent undead team, like, isn't it? It's quite nice, he's got, he's got some things, but just not much. <laughs> no stats on the ghouls. Uh, Strength up white. God zombie. I mean, it's pretty trash, isn't it? And then Andy Davos' team is incredible. Stats. Guard everywhere. Mighty blow. Palm. Just an incredible team. So yeah, not looking not looking good for Mega Bonobo. Cross the power there in the Bludger. Mm. Yeah, doubles as well on Davos' team. Risky, risky getting in the go for the assist. Oh, and now he's gonna pay the price that the that ghoul is in danger. Yep, that's a big target in there. Big target putting the ghoul in there. And the other ghoul's in as well. Oh dear. That's fun. a very wicked foul. Yeah. Nice. But I, I can see the point, right? He's, he's yes. got to be thinking that he's got to get super lucky here. Like, this is horrible. Yes, he needs to get some uh, lucky hits. He needs to high roll this uh, dwarf team because. Also, there's not many chances you're going to get a good. Uh, Ghouls survive for now because there actually isn't that many uh, longbeards, is there? With uh, having both runners on the field and both troll slayers, there actually isn't that much tackle to hit the ghouls. No, and I've seen that Mega Bonobo is also Spanish. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, okay. Yes, 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 there are uh, Spanish names there. Yeah. Wow. We could have an all Spanish final. Oh, controversy. <laughs> <laughs> Never since the UC of <laughs> Call calcium, call calcium. <laughs> nice grab to get an extra hit, but didn't pay. And this is a ball carrier blitz. Yep, it's already looking that bad. <laughs> <laughs> for Mega Bonobo. <laughs> oh, having the two mummies so close, I don't like that. No, no. But it's hard because if you, like... Yeah, no, there is no many options, I mean... Uh... Yeah, if you, if you separate them, then, then the dwarves swarm with guard, don't they? Though, actually, he hasn't got... You know, Andy Devo hasn't got as much guard as he could have, right? He's got a guard on the bench. But he does have two... He's, he's only fielding five long beards, right? He's only got five tacklers on the field. Only five tacklers. <laughs> but ghouls should be able to, to avoid them to an extent. Absolute ridiculous blitzer, strength four, ID four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, 
And yeah. it has a super rowdy team with the two troll slayers. You don't usually don't see two troll slayers. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good against like the lighter teams. Funny enough, like undead, right? But like, it's a bit worse against teams like chaos and stuff. Uh, orcs. Where? Oh. You know the friends that can get you into trouble against all the guard, and like yeah. other dwarves. And the armor eight is a weakness, but against teams like undead, where they don't, they're not that strong. The uh, obviously agile teams like. Elves and stuff, the extra speed and the extra pawn is really nice. Mega Bonobo isn't really getting anywhere here, is he? He's <laughs> mostly just getting. No, it's, it's not progressing in the match, but if there is how oh, he can progress, it's like. <laughs> He's mostly just trying to stay alive. <laughs> Just trying to stay alive and trying to make these. And keep fouling, and keep fouling, you know, in the hope that uh, something dies. Yeah. <laughs> He's left an easy one day on the ball here that I don't think Andy will take. Ooh, I always got a tackle on him, so there you go. Gets the, gets the power and we'll go for another. Tackle hit, and maybe he's even a surf here. If he gets the power, yep, he gets the power. So we'll go for a surf here, potentially. Oh, oh, there are skulls. No, he just wrestled with the so. Okay, now I think he can get two dice on the ball. Yes, yeah, that actually worked out okay. <laughs> he doesn't get the surf, but he can get two dice on the ball. But. He, uh, he doesn't want. I think maybe he should have done. Yes, he, he has the. Yes, he has the. They're yeah, just taking four GFIs. Hmm. It's asking a lot, isn't it? To be fair, not a real one, four GFIs. And by just staying, and like the problem with dwarves is if you get out of position, then they, they you know, they could have just gone. Okay, well, at least he could, he could have tried to double base the ball. I don't know. No, I, I, I like I like this to be honest. Like, he could have done. Maybe he thought about it. He didn't. But I mean, I think like the dwarves have the inevitability in this matchup, don't they? Like you know, they're they're not they're not actually strong, rather, because the the undead have the two. Mummies, but they've got so much guard that it's so easy for them, like so much mighty blow. They can, you know, he's got to think he can blunt the attack just by playing properly, uh, playing very conservatively. He finally, gets a random removal there. Yes, classic uh, kick the, the player. Yeah, his re his bribe is already gone. Right now, there's a gaping hole here to hit the ball. Well, there's not yet, but. He can easily hit the enemies. But again, he doesn't have to, does he? Like that's the thing. He, he just. As long as he keeps it safe, like by not moving that guy over there. <laughs> uh, like, you know, if this guy had stayed here, like, you know, as long as you've got a bit of cover, um, you can, like, blunt their attack, can't you? Okay, he's, he's, I was going to say, because this is, like, this was really weak there, wasn't it? I didn't like, I didn't like leaving this too weak, but this guy. Yeah, that guy. no, and now he's more It's all right, and now uh... Don't understand why you would blitz with the ball instead of just blitzing with the white. What do you want? Chief here, free the white, but the pull up the white pull up free himself, you know, blitz. Hmm. 
Like, I guess if it's a push, that's, he's in a better spot that way, but... Hmm. Felix to do a sorry one. Yeah. Maybe it was okay. So the both mummies have stand firm, so there's no chain shenanigans going on. That wide blotch stand fair on guard. Really good. Oh! To get to removal there, but I do wonder if he should have uh, maybe you know tried to free up the troll slayer and get him moved back instead. Oh, irrelevant! The down this fail. Oh, that's not uh, the relevant. Oh, it's a dangerous block, wasn't it? That was a dangerous block to make there. He should have absolutely oh. moved these two first. Because if, yes. that, if that's a push, he's just stranded. Like, that was oh. so risky. What the, what a pay. Region. Unreal. What a pay. Unreal. Ah, but it's because he wanted the, him out of the way so they could move diagonally there, I guess. But that was... Wow. The ball, but there is your hands. Yeah. Now he can potato to victory, can he? I think yes, including a surf there. Yep. Just, just casually. Yeah, I'm not sure that was a great play on the ball. It could have been four dice on the ball with a tackle and wrestle. So if he didn't fail the GFI. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want, like you know, like, as I say, if he just blocked with that other lineman, though, he could have had the troll slayer could have been three. Like the troll slayer could have been here. And if the troll slayer was here, I'd be in a much better spot. He didn't really have any depth. He didn't have any depth to his uh, his defense, did he? He had a big line, oh. and then the line got broke through. No, but and now he good. can, uh, he once can serve this or heavy weight. Yes, yeah. Little yeah. reward for... Uh... Yeah, Mega Bonobo will take that all day, won't he, to get him, even as good as oh, a player yes. as he is. Oh, he can surf the ghoul instead. This is only a one -er. Yeah, Goo can't regen, and there you go. Master play. I mean, I would have liked to Miss next game, too, so. Been. The white. Oh, so the. Oh, because he was going to then try and tag. He was going to try to, yes, Goo base. That was a nice move. Fair enough, that was a nice move. That was, it, it, so he wasn't giving up on the drive by surfing the okay, So good. Mega Bonobo managed to score, cost him half his team. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, he still has the wizard. Yeah. And that's very big versus dwarves because they're not very good at recovering uh, from that kind of stuff. No, it's cost him though, hasn't it? Holy moly, has it cost him. Uh, <laughs> three cars, no regens on any of them. I mean, one he couldn't regen, so... Two out of two regen fails. And he's four players down. Does he only have ten players left? Yeah, he's only got ten players left. Max for the rest of the game. He has you now the lowest hits. Yeah, all this all this pomp. Well, there's not that much pom. <laughs> two pommers. Two. It's more Enough. that he's got loads of mighty blow, isn't he? For that's the thing for like when you get those big blocking walls where you end up making 60 blocks in a game. Um, with, <laughs> with having loads of mighty blow like that, it's how they can beat chaos and stuff, isn't it? Quite, quite well. Despite chaos being the supposed answer to uh, to dwarves, 
and Nurgle and the Chorfs, you know, all those scenes are supposedly the answer to counter dwarves, but at the end of the day, if the dwarves are hitting with so much mighty blow, you know, it gets it's not Yes, and they're it's, usually hitting versus armor eight, so Yeah. yeah. Good enough. No, he's got a pile. Hasn't he? Mega Bonobo's got a babe. That would have piled. I guess he's got regen, hasn't he? So, yeah, I guess. It's, it's the same. It's the same role, a three plus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I guess the fact that he's got regen makes it not worth piling. I'd have done it anyway, though. <laughs> Yes, because a cast is better than a KO because chaos can get the roll. Yeah. When you score. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he is 10 max, so I guess the player off is good. The strength for IG4 doesn't come back. No, he doesn't, does he? And he got fouled, like, he got he got that player sent off for it, but, uh, yeah, he stayed out twice now. And only one back, so he got nine men for the second half. This is basically... The question is now is whether Andy Davo goes for the goes for the win or not, right? Does he try and, like, score in three or four and then win in normal time? It's probably not. Because if you if you stall it out, then you've still got a 50-50 just receiving again, haven't you? So there's no real I think, reason. But he needs anymore. to get rid of the wizard from Mega Bonobo. I mean, that wizard. Yeah. I, I don't see how he does, though. I don't see how he does get rid of the wizard. I think Trying to score is... quick. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There is no way of... Because uh... mm. Mega Bonobo is going to save... Being so low on men, he's going to save the wizard. But if you start getting cast, reducing the numbers. Yeah. You know, at some point, if you only have three players left, having a wizard or not is irrelevant. No, I would. I wouldn't have even defended. I would have had. I would have had all my players in the corner and just not even tried to stop this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> to be honest, lie down and then you're fifty-fifty at, at just getting getting the receive receiving with a wizard. And if you receive with a wizard, you've got half a chance of scoring. Um, it's pretty much all he's got. <laughs> I, think. In fact, I don't like the fact that Megabonobo put his players so close. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would have, I would have just hit. Already I would have given up on this one. I would put them four squares away. Yeah, I would, I would have just put them, like, I would have put them here. At like, least four squares yeah. away. Yeah, at least four. Because yeah. he's down quality as well, right? He's down. Not only has he only got nine players, he's down a, a mummy. Once you're down a mummy, then. Undead are just shit humans, as, as somebody said. Um, and he's down a ghoul as well. He's got he's got so many just like unskilled zombies. Meanwhile, he's facing a wall of guard and mighty blow. It's just terrifying. Terrifying. I'll just be right back. Please with the mummy, but think praying for a cast. That's gonna be the whole turn, more or less. something in my eye that I had to sort out. While wow, dodging with a zombie. Beautiful. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> oh. 
Tell him we're Rick. Yes, he's trying to base it as much as he can and safely as he can. He's going for the easy zombie hits. Yeah. Carrying on the bolt, bitch. Which. I was thinking which one of them, you know, was the Zenidad, but yeah, that's the, build, the ball bitch, but not for much. <laughs> I think maybe these two should have both based up this guy. Zombie. Like you really want to put pressure on them with my blow because you've got to you've got to remove players. You? Like all you've got you've you've got to remove as many players as you can this out because you're gonna stop. They can't stop you. Like they just literally can't. No, yeah. <laughs> right now there is. I, I don't see a way uh, these uh, undead manage to get the ball. Yeah. So in many ways, I quite like the idea of dangling the ball out in front of them. You know, like dangling a leg, as PC likes to say, <laughs> show a bit of leg. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, like, if you could tempt them into wasting the wizard, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? So I would quite like to see a bit of loose, loose ball, you know, Space Cadet Ball Protection Academy style play here. To maybe hope for an overcommit. He could have used Jugger now, I uh, know. The, 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 the mummy has a stand. Yeah, I wondered if there was a way to, uh, to like, blitz, you know, somebody. Oh, he's got sidestep, maybe. Uh, sidestep, I understand. Yeah, maybe he's could have blitzed the, uh, the strength four around the back or something, you know, an extra hit. I don't know. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. Yes, Jericho Peppers, yeah, that's pretty much the only way that Bonobo can win. Yes, that's a... Uh, or Andy Dabo, you know, uh, lost his connection or something like that. But yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the, the undead depends on the quicker score on the extra time. Yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not stuck. And for, for that, they need to have players. It's, who knows? Yeah. Like, maybe if the Dwarf course was terrible. You know, maybe they could stop this, but the dwarf coach isn't terrible. Like, you know, if 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 they were miles better than, then maybe they could, but they're not, so they can't. <laughs> like they're they're not stopping this drive unless unless you deliberately play bad, and give them a you know make them think they can stop it with a wizard. I, I think that would be. But of course, you could do that and it could backfire as well. So. There's an argument for not doing that and just definitely scoring. And then if you win the toss, even against a wizard, you're probably good as the dwarves. But if you lose the toss, it's not easy, is it? Like, it's... Uh, Got to try and do the best to remove players. I hate this. Oh, oh, okay, no, there was that. I didn't hate it. There, there was, was a guard, there was a guard there down. Yeah. yeah. You gotta push uh, down. Yeah, okay. Acceptable. Leaving the ghoul without basing, that's. Yeah, I would have definitely left the ghoul based. Yes, base the ghoul, I mean. No, Jericho, because you shouldn't do that. <laughs> I mean, That's not the right that. play. You can do that, but you shouldn't. It's definitely wrong. <laughs> Gets to hit the armor, right? Woohoo! Making a game of it with his nine players on the field. But now there's a lot of punches back. Yeah, not on that goal. Yeah, but that goal there is, you know, looking in the general direction of the ball. <laughs> yeah. It's to punch him down. I don't know, there's loads of guard actually. In there. And that was big. Oh, All right, that's a. 
That's really big. No tackle here. Just roll the power. Just roll the two powers, you know, so <laughs> dominant. <laughs> And that's more or less the score uh, settled for uh, Andy. Yeah. Just roll the power, that's amazing because then you get a problem as well. Oh no, okay. I thought he was hitting, I thought he was going to hit the, the strength fall. No, but first. the chain in the trust layer there avoided yeah. the side step. I, I didn't count oh. the assists, so I, I just thought that was a one day on the goal from the from the from the blocker. See, but yeah, of course the the troll slayer's got guard as well. So. Run away with the goal and, and run away with him and just lie down. I think this is quite a good spot here where he plays on the floor. Yeah, love it. Just run away. Yeah, yeah. yeah say, say, okay. See you later. <laughs> see you in the extra time. <laughs> have fun. And he will have two chances to get his mummy back on a three plus. So. And he will foul this guy. I reckon with just a guard. Because he's got a reserve. I think he. I think, I think he should. Yeah, I think you foul the ghoul here. I think you definitely foul the ghoul here. It doesn't look like he is. Oh, he's double G fighting to punch him. Fair enough. And can't re roll it because of overtime. Yeah, and uh, but the foul on that ghoul, that ghoul is a sure hands uh, ghoul. Yeah, I really like fouling him. I think that one of the long beards with only guard, you know, could have been uh, done the job. Oh! <laughs> Not if you can randomly get KO'd. <laughs> oh, you know, blotch, fuck blotch, <laughs> fuck everything. Amazing. Power up, which is uh, the right decision because right now it's like. I mean, I don't know, he gets two chances to get him back on a 4+, plus, doesn't he? Um... It's, probably, it's probably the right decision. But there are not going to be any more casts between yeah, now and the uh, next time. Probably not, but I mean, you could use it on a on a KO in the overtime, you know? But... Oh, that's true. I mean, it's probably the right decision. Probably. Bet he wishes he uh, bet he wishes he power up both the KO on that on that blitzer, to be honest. He stayed out for the rest of the game, didn't he? Yeah, I really like fouling this this blood step duel. Sure hands, yeah. I would have like, I would have liked to have seen a foul on him. Now would I have done it myself? Probably not. <laughs> He then not get sent off, but even then, it, like he hasn't got region. Even a K, even if it's a three plus, uh, whatever, anything. Because the fact you're probably going to get your blitz back, they're probably not going to hurt you. You're almost certainly going to have eleven men for all the time. I think he probably should have fouled him. Oh, the Bobby comes back and the Blitzer comes back He's for the, you know, for the epic. Uh... Yeah, see, because now that guard guy is just on the bench anyway. So, yeah, he, he, I think he definitely should have found him. So now the apple is gone. Zero damage. He's taken two KOs. Uh, he's taken three cars. One one uh, miss the, the goal miss game. Mm. If there is a mix, a nice game for Mega One of. Mm. The other two just badly hurts. Oh, the zombies miss next, but who cares about a zombie? All right. 
So this isn't the overtime, this is uh, this is turn 16. I think this isn't worth setting up to stop a one turn. I would have just put up my three worst players on the LOS, to be honest. I guess there's the Riot as well. So I guess it makes sense to protect against a Riot and a one turn a little bit. But I, I don't know. I mean, this is this is against the Riot. This is against the one turn, right? The three stand points in the LOS. I yes, really can don't you think one? it's worth getting them all mighty blow. Paul is going to, you know, even with the strong firms get a turn, there is no way. Yeah, I think. Okay, no, yeah, he hasn't got the. He's only got one mummy, so he's only, he's only got two mighty blow hits. But still, getting two of the mighty blow hit, I just don't think it's worth it. Well, perfect defense to the rescue. <laughs> and yeah, now he gets to put the three worst players in the house. I will hit according to plan. Yeah. I don't know if you can change people with your bet with your bench. Uh, hey, but for defense, yes, I think yes, you can. I thought it was Mighty Blow, but he's still there, so he's only got one Mighty Blow hit, hasn't he? He's only got one yep. Mighty Blow hit from this time. It's a very undeveloped uh, and it. Yeah. Yeah, very bad. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until Glorious. I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Jim Shad. <laughs> Jim Shaw, thank you very much, Isa Hanwell, for staying fantastic for 11 months. <laughs> Glorious. Now... Yeah, so he bristles with a strength for 3D. For a miracle. Well, he managed to use all his players in the turn. Yeah. And now the, the the big thing. Yeah, the biggest roll of the game. Who wins the toss? And he's... Oh, Mega Bonobo wins the toss. Yeah, he's got half a chance. He has two ghouls and a wizard. That's a... Yeah. <laughs> That's a very good chance there. I wouldn't say a very good chance. <laughs> I mean, better than the other option that uh, you know, having to defend. Yeah, he's got half a chance. He's got a sliver of a chance. He can blitz uh, the stand firm, uh, guard mighty blow, long beard, pray for a pow, and then run. Yeah. Could go through the middle, could uh could hit on the LOS to blitz him and then like run through the middle. So I guess dwarves are so slow if you go on one side and they haven't got that much to I think he chances so. one side and it yes, set up. Perfect. Oh lightning bolt Oh He's lightning oh. bolt with this guy. So I've got a confession to make. This is when I started watching the match in it, it live, and I thought this was a terrible wizard, right? I thought it was a terrible one, I thought he choked, but, but when you think about it, like, if if this ball comes off, he's got the strength for to blitz the, uh, to blitz the... The, the troll is slayer. Troll slayer. Yeah, so he's going to at least push him, and that gets him a lot of space down here, and then, you know, the ball's there, pick up, hand off can stand on the sideline, he can tag all these guys, and it, so it's actually a pretty good wizard. I, like, I would have waited, you know, to the next turn to use the wizard, um, but actually, it was a pretty pretty smart idea, I, I didn't hate yes, it. Yes, because all. how uh, the position, you know, in the... of Andy makes... that he only has... Uh, he's only gonna have four players top of the score. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all these guys are too far And away. if you take the the wizard takes one down, three left. Then you pow the troll slayer, two left. <laughs> tag tag the long beard, and then you can um, with the blotch uh, white tag the runner, or even a screen. And he's just going for it here, isn't he? He's just going for it. Makes the dodge. And the GFIs. <laughs> and yeah, so he could have done all of this, but with the Troll Slayer down as well, and the runner tag. So actually... I think this is a play that Andy wasn't expecting. Nobody or nearly was. anyone. Yeah, nobody was. I, I thought it was terrible. Honestly, when he did it, I thought it was terrible. I thought he'd throw him. No, when I watched it, I was watching the game too. I thought this is, has to be a two turns. Yeah, you can mm. hope to find many chances here. Yeah, I mean, it's fair enough. Like, the first half was a disaster for him, wasn't it? And he's only got 10 players. And, like, so yeah, he, ha he has to try and bang it in quickly. But I just. Would have still, I still wanted to keep the wizard for another turn, you know, but um, as it happened, I, at the time I thought it was crazy, but actually I thought it was pretty good. In in retrospect, I thought I was wrong and he was right. There you go, Makes that's a dodge, dodge with a long beard. And four GFIs, you know, and he has been forced to do a lot of rolls. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a nice little shape, isn't it? But it's, it's still quite easy, it's just uphill. Uphill this guy and then one D blitz to score. He had a GFI there, didn't he? Yes, um, make the set of uh, two red dice, three red dice. Yeah, yeah. I know he had an assist there, he had an assist, so. No, he, yeah, it wouldn't have. And there you go, is the happy pow. There you go. GFI. <laughs> Boom! And the stadium goes silent and everybody amazed at what just happened. Yeah. Mega Bonobo, balls to the wall, managed to go to the final. Yeah, unbelievable, I'm honestly. A big fan of, I'm a big fan of balls he plays. Yeah. And that was one of them that was like, okay, I only have this shot. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, it, it's so weird, you know, I genuinely thought it was terrible at the time. And then. And then, no, it was actually just really ballsy, wasn't it? He knew what he had to do, and, and yeah, and there was a really... And he was just he was obviously desperately unlucky to roll a one, wasn't he? Um, but then he, so he, got, he got a bit of luck after it, but he was so unlucky to roll a one. Um, so, yeah, nice, nice. Nice that he yes, went Yes, and it. because uh, Andy Davo had... His defence was so close to the LOS. There wasn't many dwarves that could move, you know, uh, to the back. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Good. Really good play from him doing that two turns. Yes, so. he read correctly the pitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I was proved wrong there with the, not what I would have done. Uh, it was it was absolutely great. Well, I don't know about great, but it was it was ballsy. And there was certainly a really big payoff to it that I... Uh, 22 that I armor breaks for the dwarves. Seven for the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was a rough match for Mega Bonobo, but he didn't lose his nerves. He just keep more or less calm and trying to use his team the best he could have used it yeah i think you know they have many resources but he was uh, patient enough to save them for the right times yeah yeah and 90 didn't do anything wrong either it's just time is happening yeah i think i think he should have got some i think he should have got the uh, troll slayer back deep on that turn five or turn six or whatever i think he didn't have anyone deep on his defense did he and that and yeah and that led to the uh like and there that. were some chances of basing the ball or hitting the ball or something like that, yeah. maybe. Yeah, I, I don't think he should have conceded in the first half. Like, And that's the thing that Andy does many times. I've seen, you know, with vast teams more or less letting the other team more or less score in the first half, meanwhile he's busy annihilating the other team. Yes, yeah. Because the Orc team uh, was exactly the same and yeah. the same problem happened. One game, you know, you don't uh, get the cuts and things start looking bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think I do. I agree. I think he does that. I think it's like, it's kind of a league thing, you know, like it's like, uh, there's a certain thing about like chalice equity as well, isn't there? Like, you know, like if you play a harder defense 
then you guys take more hits and they're more likely to die and everything. Um, and you know, put your players in more harm's way and he does tend to play very, cons like, not conservatively in terms of risk, but conservatively in terms of his players and like, yeah. And, but in that time it wasn't, that time it was just like, like he put the guys in the way and he was, he was beating the crap out of the undead, but just somehow just didn't go for the kill, did he? Or like, or didn't, he didn't, he didn't go the rolls. He didn't hit the ball and he didn't have anyone deep. He just didn't do anything, really. It was weird that, that to have got in such a dominant position where he was, like, choking the life out of them and, like, there was no way forward for them at all. But then they found a way forward and then he just didn't have any cover for it. So I guess that was the problem. That's dwarves, isn't it? Dwarves yeah. just being so slow. Like, he had no, there was a couple of chances could have based the ball or something like that, which I will have forced Mega Bonobo to blitz the back yeah. to free the ball. So that will make, you know, make it more difficult to advance. You know, he could have uh, chomped, uh, taken part of the pitch. Mm, but yeah, he has went for maximum hit, which is a perfect ballet tactic with a team. Powerful, that, okay, I'm going to roll a million or more rolls because he every single thing, every single turn. Yeah, I just think he should have had somebody deep. I think he should have had some, he should have got somebody deep the, the turn before it all, you know, before the breakaway. Uh, but I mean, that's, is what it is, isn't it? Right. Yeah, but that's it's a tiny thing at the end of the day, you know, it's like, yeah. cool. are we about that for mil years? <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Um, no, the mummy was only badly hurt, so uh, so you'll ne have nearly a full team in, in the all-Spanish final, so there you go. Congrats, Mega Bonobo, commiserations, Andy Devo. Thank you very much, Faime, absolutely glorious commentary as always. Thank always been a pleasure. Glorious. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.